Good afternoon and welcome to everyone. I am Mary Shaw, professor of VCU Physical Therapy. Thank you for letting me share with you this beautiful day and with your parents, your grandparents, your spouses, children, I think I saw one, uh, and friends, all of who have helped you through this adventure in one way or another. So students of class of 2021, feel good, feel proud, you've earned it. I know you are as excited as you were the first day that you started three years ago. You worked hard to get into PT, and then you were chosen, and you were part of this group of brilliant and sensitive people, just like you. It may feel like you've been working on this forever, or it may feel like it just started yesterday. I, and now you are sitting among lifelong friends, whereas you were strangers three years ago. You have come to this point because you have demonstrated clinical expertise, advanced knowledge of physical therapy, the capacity for collaboration, and critical thinking that enables you to serve patients, clients, and communities. Now as you stand at the commencement of your career, I know you are excited and energized, but you might be a little anxious about the changes around you professionally and socially. You may feel like you've boarded a boat and you aren't sure where it's going, but I can assure you, based on my experience, you've made a good choice. The career you have chosen opens many doors. You've already opened the door to the helping relationship with your uh, patients who will share their anxiety and pain and I know you will stop and listen, truly listen, with an open and analytical mind. You will find ways to open other doors and contribute to progress that you cannot possibly anticipate. Any more than I could have dreamt of standing here in front of you when I was sitting in your place 43 years ago. I know that's a little older than you are, but it's okay. Um, we've been fortunate to be your teachers, and I just wanted to introduce everybody for the benefit of the folks that came to support you. Um, in, the, in the front row is Daniel Lee, who has been our interim chair for the past nine months. Congratulations! <laughs> Next to him is Dean Susan Parrish. You already know very well, you're, the folks that are supporting may not know Chad Taylor, but he is very well known as far as musculoskeletal. Pete Pitko taught these students everything they know about biomechanics. And Jim Thomas, you may not know as well, since he just came a couple years ago, and is mainly doing research in the area of back pain and biomechanics. Cheryl Fanukin has taught them geriatric physical therapy as well as um, um, microbiology. Sean Soper is our person that knows everything but particularly she knows about professionalism and has really taught you how to be one, as well as some of the issues of ethics, of um, administration and management. And Ben Darter taught exercise physiology and um, uh, cardiopulmonary physical therapy. And last but certainly not least is Dr. Emma Wheeler, who has gotten you through all these clinical education. In this time of COVID, she had probably the most challenging job of negotiating through this mess. And she also taught you other things about therapeutic agents. 
So thank you. So we've been a teacher of you for a short time, but now you will meet many patients, a few of whom will remain in your heart and your hippocampus. I had to get a little neuro in there. Um, if you allow them, they will become your teachers. They will teach you more about life and courage and even despair, more than we ever could. And by the degree and license that you have earned, you will advocate for them and help each per patient walk out of your clinic or hospital or schools or rehab centers with their heads held high, ready to carry on because what you have taught them, that's the exciting part of physical therapy. Thank you for becoming my colleague and I wish you well. And now I have the opportunity to introduce the Dean of the College of Health Professions. Dr. Susan Parrish has her master's in social work from Rutgers University and her PhD from the School of Public Health at the University of Illinois at Chicago. She took the position of Dean of our College of Health Professions in the summer of 2019, taking over from Cecil Drain when he retired. Dr. Parrish, these graduates have completed the prescribed course of professional study and are recommended by the faculty for the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy. Thank you for joining us in celebrating. Thank you very much, Professor Shaw. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a privilege for me to be able to celebrate with you. And I'd also just like to congratulate each of you and call you what you are going forward, doctors. I am over the moon that we can honor your achievements in person. But before I start, I would like each graduate to give a round of applause to the family and loved ones who supported you to reach this moment. Let's thank them for their support. We know none of us achieves our goals and dreams without the support of our loved ones. Graduates, please also take a moment to thank my physical therapy faculty colleagues. They worked very hard to assist you in achieving your goals. They set high expectations for you, and they demanded your very best. Their rigorous standards enabled you to become the physical therapist you are today. Let's give them a round of applause, too. Class of 2021, you are truly incredible. You have worked so very hard to reach this moment. You are graduating today because of the determination you showed in the face of the worst public health crisis our nation and our world have ever faced. In the future, when you face challenges, and yes, you will face challenges, I hope you reflect on the grit and tenacity and sheer will that you showed during your training with us here at VCU. I commend you for your efforts. I join my faculty and staff colleagues and offer my personal congratulations to each of you. You graduates are special in ways students before you have never even needed to imagine. And we as a faculty are so proud of what you've achieved but we're even more excited about what you will accomplish in the future. I hope you will take time to celebrate your success. Spend a few days enjoying yourself. Reacquaint yourselves with your families after all of your hard work. Relish this success. And then on Monday, please get back to work. Apply your skills and your expertise to improve the health and well-being of people in your community. I am personally grateful for your commitment to health care because our country needs you. Congratulations, graduates, and congratulations to all of the families and loved ones who supported you to achieve this moment. Congratulations, doctors.
As the students know, Paxton Helmer has been the president and intrepid leader of the class of 2021. So Paxton, I'd like to ask you to come up and give a few remarks uh, regarding your graduation. To the class of 2021, faculty, and accompanying family and friends, thank you for being here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. It is my honor to be speaking in front of all of you today. We have not had the normal physical therapy school journey, but I admire the flexibility, tenacity, perseverance, and strong work ethic of my cohort to take the challenges in stride. We not only endured the typical PT student struggles of the difficult coursework, but have also overcome the obstacles that the COVID-19 pandemic presented. Additionally, I appreciate the diligent efforts of the faculty to keep us on track for this important day today. When I reflect on the past three years, I've learned a lot. I gained a tremendous amount of knowledge about movement, the human body, and physical therapy skills but I also learned a few unique lessons along the way. The first lesson I learned, not all good things are shiny. We started in the basement of North Hospital where the program was housed for many years. We were the last class that was able to share the exquisite basement experience with the many cohorts that have preceded us. Although the basement may have had many negative traits, the basement was solely our space, a space that was devoted only to physical therapy department. It was a space that we entered with trepidation of what the next three years would bring. It was a space that 56 students entered as strangers and exited as friends and colleagues. It was a space that we were able to develop bonds with the second year students who were just a handful of strides away in their own classroom. This was where we learned the basic PT skills that we will carry with us for the rest of our careers. While it wasn't shiny, it was a special physical therapy designated space that housed the initial cultivation of our careers. The next lesson, you win some, you lose some. A great accomplishment during our time in PT school was winning the Marquette Challenge in 2019. For those that do not know, the Marquette Challenge is a fundraising competition that over 300 PT and PTA programs participate in to raise money for the Foundation for Physical Therapy Research. Alongside the class of 2020, our core helped host fundraisers to raise $34,327 to achieve first place in the competition. That was quite the big win for us, and an exciting memory to reflect upon. In the sports realm, however, we didn't do so hot. Our class was the type that got the participation ribbon in sports growing up. I recall my first year heading out to the field with a couple of women from my class and the class above us, ready to take on our competition in intramural soccer. We stepped foot on the field and the referee quickly approached us and said something like, ladies, we regret to inform you, but you are the only team in this league. That intramural journey came to an abrupt halt, but I guess we won first place that year. Our class trialed many other sports to achieve a noble intramural championship title. Despite the repeated valiant efforts in the championship game, we always found a home at second place. Unfortunately, we leave the VCU PT program without ever claiming the first place title, unless you're the only one in the league. The third lesson, when life gives you lemons, forget the lemons and eat a chocolate chip cookie. During PT school, there are le many lemons that get thrown at you. Lemons come in the form of an exam, a paper, homework assignment, project, or sometimes a pandemic. But for the class of 2021, with our lemons, 
came a chocolate chip cookie. Whether you aced an exam or were unsure of how well you did, there was usually a tasty treat three paces outside of the classroom door to boost your mood. Thank you, Howie, and our other class bakers for always keeping our stomachs full and our moods lightened after a hard class assignment. Life gave us a very sour lemon when the pandemic hit in 2020. We left for spring break in February and went on the longest spring break of our lives. But that didn't stop our class from having virtual baking classes to ensure chocolate chip cookies were still enjoyed from a distance. Obstacles in life are inevitable but a glass of milk and a chocolate chip cookie can make the hurdles a little more bearable. The last lesson. In the words of Dr. Mayhew, appreciate and move on. I express with the utmost appreciation for having the opportunity to take, the la take on the last three years with the 55 members of my class. From the summer river days, to the pool parties, to the anatomy lab, to the holiday potlucks, to the classroom, and everywhere in between, I've learned unique lessons from each of you. I've also appreciated all the faculty within the VCU Physical Therapy Department that have gotten us where we are today. Your devotion, your devotion to developing us into top-notch physical therapists is exceptional. But now it is time to move on. Today marks a major milestone for us. We've worked tirelessly over the past three years for this day today. I admire each and every one of you and your passion for physical therapy. I encourage you to be trailblazers as we head into our careers and continue to advance the physical therapy profession. This profession and your patients will be better because of each of you. I'm confident that you will all make fantastic physical therapists, and I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish in your careers. Thank you. I don't know about you all, but I'm hungry for chocolate chip cookies now. So thanks, Paxton, for your, uh, for your speech there. So congrats, to everyone. Thank you all for uh, dealing with the flexibility that you've had to with COVID and, and getting changing, changing buildings from the basement to the new building we have now. Um, you guys did, did an awesome job. So proud of you, and congratulations for that. So just wanted to go through uh, announcing uh, some, some of you these awards people have, uh, have known about, awards and scholarships people have known about. Some of these things are new, so just wanted to um, recognize those people that have won either awards or scholarships. So just please, when your name is called, stand where you are to be recognized. Okay, so uh, two students from the class of 2021 received the A.D. Williams Award in recognition of high overall scholastic achievement, professional performance, and leadership potential. Those two people are Madison Townsend and Karsten Vildius. <laughs> the Lewis and Violet Childers Memorial Scholarship is a three-year scholarship awarded to a physical therapy student with the intent to practice in a rural setting. The recipient from this year's class was Andrew Carver. The Cindy Goulden Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who makes the greatest contribution in service-related activities. The recipient from this class was Kamali Charles. The Marianne Mack McDonald Award is given to recognize unselfish commitment to assisting other students, both academically and personally. This year's recipient is Katherine Grant. The Jules Rothstein Scholarship is given to students who demonstrate professional leadership. This year's scholarship, year scholarships were awarded to Paxton Homer and Katie Smith. The Marjorie Champion Salomone Memorial Award is given to a graduating student who has demonstrated strength of character, wisdom, and compassion for others. This award was given to Katie Dingman. The Barry Williams Jr. Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who demonstrates unselfish support and care for members of the class. 
building camaraderie among his or her classmates. This award was given to Carson Fildois. The Suzanne Hurt Leadership Award is given to a student who made outstanding contributions while serving in a leadership role over three years as a DPT student and demonstrates outstanding promise as a future leader within the health profession. This year's recipient is Paxton Helmer. The Terry Wise Memorial Scholarship is given to a graduating student who demonstrates outstanding professional and personal capabilities in the clinical setting. Students are nominated by the clinical center in which they affiliate. So for all of you that are nominated for this, if you can, if you can please stand when recognized. So this year's nominees were Peter Suter from VCU Health Stony Point Outpatient, Caitlin Purcell, Sentara Martha Jefferson Hospital Outpatient Vestibular, Matt Ahola, Lawrence Rehab, the Gate Center, which is an outpatient and amputee rehab center, and Ann Johnson, Banner PT in Phoenix, Arizona, an outpatient clinic. The 2021 recipient of the Terry Wise Memorial Scholarship is Peter Suter. The American Council of Academic Physical Therapy now has a National Honor Society. This is where the, the student demonstrates excellence, integrity, and professionalism in areas of academic achievement, being in the top 25% of their class, leadership, service, or research, and demonstrates strong moral character, character, ethics, and the core values of the PT profession. The following students have been selected to this honor society, Jack Emerson and Paxton Helmer. Finally, the department also encourages and supports public service by students to help meet the needs of society and particularly our community. The recipients that have served 50 hours of pro bono service in the CARES clinic, residential camps, and medical mission trips have been inducted into the pro bono honor society and wear their cords on the graduation robes. These students are Karsten Vildois, Julie Vrabel, Kendra Sable, Aaron Landry, Meredith Kreiser, Kate Park, Megan Skelly, David Stoker, Tiffany Vong, Shelby Nicoe, Jack Emerson, Kamali Charles, and Tracy Miles. Again, congratulations to all of you and thank you for family for being here today. Okay, it's time. Time, it, in a normal ceremony at this point, you would parade up here and we would hood you, but this year it's a little bit different. Um, we still do it in spirit. I still wanna hug you in spirit. But this year what you're going to do is come up and Chad will guide you. You'll come up here and when I announce your name, you'll come across the front Grab a hold of one of these little white fake diplomas <laughs> and come on over here and there's a yellow, oh and pick up a pin, a VCU pin, so that you'll be able to wear it on your lapel in the clinic. And then there's a little yellow mark up here and I want you to stand there because our intrepid uh, <laughs> photographer is going to take a picture of you that I will send out to you later. All right? So. I, I guess we'd best to be on it. Matt Ahola. There you go. Very good. Pause there. Very good. Courtney Amos.
Coleman Bryan. Andrew Carver. Just one. There we go. <laughs> Meredith Kreiser. Elise Cruz. <laughs> Catherine Dingman. Jack Emerson. <laughs> Alexander Fishbein. Helen Friedman. Jack Gerlitz. Madeline Grafton. <laughs> Catherine Grant. Hannah Habib. Paxton Helmer. Taylor Hogg. <laughs> Colby Halbert, Halbert Hurt. Ann Johnson. <laughs> Sarah Katz. <laughs> Ann Kiever.
Heather Knox. Aaron Landry. Lindsay Lee. <laughs> Helen Mai Nguyen Laymaster. Maddie Matheson. <laughs> Matthew Maddox. <laughs> Delaney McAleer. <laughs> Madeline McCarty. Michael McVeigh. <laughs> David Mendoza. Teresa Miles. <laughs> Allison Mitter. -er. Emily Mulhorn. <laughs> Shelby Nakui. Hunter Ombudsman. <laughs> Catherine Park. Caitlin Purcell. <laughs> Ashlyn Rideout.
Kendra Sable. <laughs> Drazen Schreckengast. Jennifer Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Megan Skelly. No, no more. Sorry. Catherine Smith. <laughs> David Stoker. <laughs> Peter Suter. Wendy Thomas. <laughs> Meredith Vey. <laughs> Julie Brabel. Tiffany Vaughn. <laughs> Howie Wang. <laughs> and last but not least, is Karsten Vildois. Congratulations to you all. I I now want to invite Sean Soper to the podium. Congratulations, graduates. So um, we're going to ask that you please rise and recite the oath. The oath is included in your program. As you may recall from the white coat ceremony, each and every time we um, do this, we say to the physical therapist in the room, you have to edit the oath because the oath is, of course, written for students. You, too, now need to edit the oath. So as you read the oath, please eliminate the word student and just recognize yourself as physical therapist. And I ask all of my colleagues to please also rise and share in reading of the oath. Are you ready? As a physical therapist, dedicated to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge I will respect the rights and dignity of all individuals who seek my services or work or with whom I work, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my service, exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements, Demonstrate integrity during interactions with colleagues, other healthcare providers, students, 
faculty, researchers, the public, and payers for the enhancement of patient care and the advancement of the profession. Enhance my practice through the lifelong acquisition and application of knowledge, skills, and professional behavior. Participate in efforts to meet physical therapy and healthcare needs of the local, national, and global communities. Thus, with this oath, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the physical therapy profession. Congratulations. One person I forgot to recognize because she wasn't in, the, in our group here, she was unable to come this afternoon, was Cheryl Ford Smith. She is retiring this year but she has received the honor of being a professor, an associate professor emeritus. So I want to congratulate her, and even though she's not here. I also want to recognize that we have a new chair coming in, and that is Michael Landry. He is watching from a distance. So I want to welcome him, even though you won't be seeing him, you'll be seeing him as you watch the department progress. So I'm going to lead the uh, faculty down the center and then you follow along. <laughs> 